So here's the deal. I started making this, this video a few months ago. Is Destiny 2 free to play worth playing in 2024? And after however many hours of gameplay, I realized that literally basically nothing had changed up until uh two days ago so what was it april 9th redoing the whole video felt kind of pointless and i was gonna scrap the video until they made the changes with into the light here so we're gonna go check them out see if it's actually something that is worth for new players and then we'll kind of go through why but in order to do that we actually have to make a new character so we're just gonna we're just gonna pick a random character here it really does not matter and dude i'm dangerous. skating but our only way skate 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 skirt wall. so i'm pretty sure the way this works is you have to do the first mission which is what i'm testing is this not the tutorial when is the tutorial skip i thought it was after the first mission no sync with shahan near his camp what what does that mean is this the new skip thing it is okay so this is what we were looking for this is what was recently added because if you haven't played Dusty in a long time, I'll just keep it a I'll keep it a buck fifty with you. The new light experience, aka coming back to the game or starting the game new, is miserable. Skip the tutorial and fly to the tower. That's what I want to do. So they now allow you to skip all the new light stuff, so you can save hours of your time. Skip new light, fly straight to the tower, and skip the new light tutorial and join the vanguard. So let's see how much of this it actually skips. Permanently skips the tutorial. This is available at any time. All right, so I should get subclasses and stuff then. For the first time ever, everyone's favorite mobile game is doing something insane. That's right, baby. Raid Shadow Legends. During the spring hunt, new players can win a free gaming console plus up to $10,000 total value of Amazon gift cards. Raid is celebrating the arrival of Spring Teleria with a special spring hunt mini game. All you have to do to win is download the game using my link in the description and head over to this link, springhunt.polarium.com. Enter your raid ID to join the competition. If you download now using my link, you can get a free legendary and two strong epic heroes, Tayrell and Rector Drath. Raid is also introducing its first ever 14 day login program, and they're giving away legendary champion chronicler Adeline after just seven days of logins. She is a top tier support who can put an enemy to sleep without hitting them, even if an enemy has blocked debuffs, and she can heal and restore destroyed max HP, perfect for taking on the Sand Devil. You have until July 8th to unlock this insane promotion. If you guys are at all interested in even more bonuses, use my link in the description and use promo code SPRINGHUNT24 to get silver and more. This is available to new and existing players. You guys can also find me under the in-game name Sweatsicle, and I hope to see you guys out on the battlefield. The last survivors of humanity's collapse okay, this call is the city home. Unskippable, but okay, that's fine. Okay, so it gave me subclass fragments, gave me the spark of hope, which is the Risk Runner quest. I hope I don't spend longer in the loading menus than I would doing the entire tutorial, but no, I'm not checking out Eververse. Fuck you. So it just takes you straight to Ikora. Check out the new light kits. Choose a new light kit for your guardian. So what does it give you? Arc Striker recommended. For anybody who's like not in Tomb of Destiny that is watching this video, Striker's probably the last one you want to pick, bro. If you're a new light or a returning player, you're probably going to want to run Solar or Void. I'd probably recommend Solar. Let's just try Solar C. What does it give you? Okay, so it gives you four fragments, which would normally cost you 100,000 glimmer, and it gives you bonk hammer. That's actually huge, because bonk hammer is busted. Melee, dude, wait, these are, they actually give you like, really good fragments for free. They actually thought this one through a bit, is what it looks like. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It just gave me, I just got sunshot for free too. I got a GL and I got a shotgun. You literally get the best exotic hand cannon in the game for free. Only if you pick solar? Question chat. I guess I could go test it out, but like, what do you get for the other ones? And if I pick Solar on like a Warlock, do I also get Sunshot? You get Risk Runner for Arc? What do you get for Void? You get Graviton. Okay. How many new players are there really though? Brother, their whole business model is funneled off of new players for a long time, man. You would be, you would be genuinely surprised. The nice part about not picking Arc 
is you're gonna get the Risk Runner quest anyways from Devrim, and it's a super easy quest. It'll probably take you 20 to 30 minutes if you're a new player. It really doesn't take long at all. So I probably wouldn't recommend picking Ark on any class. They, they probably should have chosen a different exotic to give people uh, for Ark. Ark is really good on Hunter, but it's only good if you have like certain exotics. It's just, it's not great at a base level. If you're new to the game or you're coming back after not playing for a long time, you should prioritize survivability. And the best way to do that is usually solar or void. All right, so we go to the Hall of Champions. This is new with Into the Light as well. Wait, does he just not progress if you body block him? This pathfinding is just like, wait, wait, dude, move, bro. I got an objective I need to get to. So this is another thing. Chat, how long ago was this? Like 18 months ago? They had this, like this same exact thing available, but they got rid of it. And I'm actually... Season 19, so yeah, however long ago that was, this is something that they had available to for for returning and new players so they could catch up as well. They got rid of it for a while. I'm not exactly sure why, but they brought it back again. It's probably just so they can get people ready for uh, Destiny 2's supposed final expansion, uh, the final shape, which is probably why a lot of you are watching this video. You can get max light right now for free. You literally just log on and just grab this stuff. So you're probably saving yourself maybe, if you're optimal, maybe anywhere from 20 to 50 hours worth of work, and you get a really good exotic. So here's the thing about Gift of the Thunder Gods, is this is only good on Ark. So if you only, if you didn't pick Ark, this is not as beneficial to have this exotic particularly. This is a really good Titan exotic, um, one of the best actually but it's not like you can't switch subclass later. So just having this is nice and it's a good stat roll. It's not bad at all. It's, it's balanced really well. Best thing here is Thunderlord. Thunderlord's a great exotic LMG. And basically we're just grabbing this for the light level anyways. So this is gonna be your gateway into just going and farming like better stat armor and maybe some slightly better weapons. It wants me to do the onslaught thing. What is it, only 10 waves? Fine, I'll do it. Just to showcase the next part, that's fine. Since you have Thunderlord, I would highly recommend getting the catalyst for it if you're returning or newer player. There's a lot of other things that like you should get. And the nice part about like them allowing you to kind of skip the like tutorial part of this is the tutorial didn't really teach you any of this stuff anyways. There's a lot of great YouTube information on like some of the best weapons in the game that you can get and how to get them and stuff like that. This is what I'm talking about. Like, so if you're a new player and you walk in and you see an unstoppable ogre, you're like, what the fuck am I doing? What's going on? Or like a tormentor, like... Uh, the sad truth about... Well, I guess not sad, but it's just... I find it frustrating because I feel like, again, I, I just feel like there's less information out there than there should be about just like teaching people stuff instead of like sending them head in. I feel like there's certain situations in which you want to just throw players like face first into the pool and just have them figure it out. And then there's situations where you want to like maybe teach them a little bit, hold their hand. But you don't want to do too much of either. But this is like, if you're coming back, this is the first thing I would do. Do exactly what I did. You go to Ikora, you grab whatever subclass you want, grab the armor, and then start Onslaught. Because what I'm about to to go over after I finally get through this, this takes a little bit, is they offer you some of the best weapons in the game for free, in a free update. Uh, granted, a lot of them are old and they're like recycled. It's just about like allowing accessibility to like good weapons. And it's kind of on the fence too, because it's like you almost lose the satisfaction of getting like a weapon that you're super excited about because you're just kind of given something that's like really good just so you can dive head first into the game but i also understand it because destiny 2 has been going on for seven years and i personally i'm a believer that this is the final expansion for destiny 2. i just think they've changed the model a lot from like the the satisfaction of going from bad to good weapons like just the it's like a it's like a stair system it's like you progressively get better things over time so whether it's like you do weapons sometimes sometimes you do armor there's no sense of progression well that's that's like obviously what i'm saying like there still is a little bit but it's just not like the sense of progression isn't as satisfying as it once was because there's not like different options to chase well especially now that you can get max level for free the only sense of progression you get 
is for getting like maybe a god roll of something that you've been looking for but looking for rolls on weapons is not as difficult as it used to be if you're gonna put people in like the tutorial of of this activity you need to teach them that like they need to walk into this rift to slam it because i saw a clip on twitter of there was like a dude that like was just standing here shooting it like they're, they're trying to see they're trying to show me what to do because this guy knows like I saw a clip of, on Twitter, there were like two people standing here and the guy that grabbed the spark was like dancing around doing the hokey pokey and he didn't know what to do. Because not everybody's played Rift before, especially when, when you're encouraging new people to come back, or new people to come in and older people to come back, sometimes they don't know those mechanics. And like not teaching them that I think is a throw. Okay, so prime example of what I'm talking about, the recluse. This weapon came out in 2019, 2018, 2019. It is back, it is one of the best free SMGs that you can get. You can go find videos on like what role to get, blah, 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 blah. As long as you have one that, another thing, like if you're new to Destiny, I I will stress this and no matter how much other YouTubers preach it, roles on your weapons do not matter as much as people make it out to. Like if you have a weapon on its own, most of the time, just having the weapon is fine. But there's a few exceptions I think are the, the biggest the biggest changes are like heavy weapons. Like you'll still be able to do raids and stuff if you just have a weapon. People like, people will always be like, oh, you need this and this roll in order to be able to do this raid. And it's just, it's not true 99% of the time. Having a certain roll on a weapon only improves your build by like a fraction of a percent. It's, it's only really used for like the top of top players. So if you're really not going for a world's first raid, don't listen to all that garbage. I've had that many times before where I'll go into a raid on a free-to-play account with the same weapon that somebody else has, but they have the better role and I'll still fucking out DPS them, bro. Gameplay knowledge is much more important than your role on your weapon. Okay, so you get another one for free too. So now I got Edge Transit. Not a terrible role, to be honest. Okay. So if you get like a two out of five roll instead of a five out of five, you'll be fine. Really good PVP pulse rifle. I don't know if Recluse is good for PVP as well, but it's good for PVE. Hung Jury, really good scout rifle. I would highly recommend explosive rounds on it because it allows you to do damage. Uh, there's no damage drop off with uh, explosive rounds, so you can shoot from any range. Uh, Succession, one of the best raid sniper rifles. Not exactly sure why they made this free, but you know. Transit, a really old grenade launcher. You can get a really good roll on it. And then a sword. These are like the basics of what you want. Like, I think they did a good job. And there's going to be six more weapons. Yeah, they're also adding Forbearance, which is one of the best grenade launchers in the game. They're adding Midnight Coup, which is a really good hand cannon. They're adding Hammerhead, which is a good LMG, light machine gun. Uh, Blast Furnace, another good scout rifle, but that one goes in your kinetic slot. Mountaintop, a good primary grenade launcher. Basically, the, the TLDR of this is like, they're giving you a good assortment of weapons for each slot, which is nice to have. Like a lot of different utility because a lot of Destiny nowadays is about mixing and matching good combos between your primary and your energy or your kinetic and your energy slots. So like if I'm running a primary ammo weapon here, I want to run a special ammo weapon here. And then same vice versa. If I'm running a primary ammo weapon in my kinetic slot, I would want to do like a special weapon here. Usually you kind of want to pair your heavy with whatever kind of combo you got going here. So if you're doing like range in these first two slots, maybe you want to do something that's like closer range in your heavy slot. It really just depends on like what boss you're fighting. And again, I don't want to get too far into that. I just wanted to give like a surface level kind of like what to expect if you're coming back to the game or new to the game. It's funny because you can get free bright dust right now too. And then I can get the recluse ornament. So I can make it look like the old recluse. Okay, where is this free bundle that you are talking about? Because I'm a free to play player and I'm not spending a single dollar. They give you a sparrow so you don't have to use like the really shitty like sparrow that has like no speed. Okay, so you open this up. Yeah. 50 speed faster. This ship doesn't really matter. It is what it is. It's just cool though. I mean, bro, you can't argue with this. Like, just having all this stuff alone, like seriously, I think you save anywhere from like 20 to like 50 hours of like boring shit. Especially being, if you're able to do this on all characters, I would highly recommend just like making sure you have all three done before this disappears. Cause did they say when they're getting rid of this chat? Is it up until final shape? Into the light is staying. Okay, so it will be good throughout the rest of this year. So like when I was making this video a couple months ago, I was I was gonna answer the question like, is playing Destiny 2 free to play worth it in 2024 with yes, but more on the side of no. But now I'm thinking more yes, 
with a little bit more of no. I, I really don't like the term free to play. It should, uh, it, I mean, if we're, if I'm being like technical Terrence, I really think every game should be rebranded to free to try. It, it's just obvious that like, if you want the best stuff in this game, you're gonna have to pay for it, like the best content. But they are, they're giving you a lot of really good stuff for free. Granted, it's old, but it's like, you really can't argue with it. So if you want to log on and play with your friends, you basically can. Like, this is probably the best they've ever done with that. And I do applaud them for that. I will say that, like, if you're someone who enjoys Destiny more for the PvP, I wouldn't recommend the game as much, if I'm being honest. Like, you might have fun with it for a bit. If you, I would recommend playing Destiny for PvE more than anything. I think a lot of chat will agree with that, that Destiny's best side is more pve oriented now if you haven't played it for more than like a couple months you're probably gonna have a blast you're gonna enjoy destiny a lot more than someone who's been playing for even i'd say like four or five years i'd recommend it try it see if you like it and this is not biased this video is not sponsored or anything like that like i think i'm giving a better answer now than i than i would have earlier this year or last year's video because almost a million people watched last year's video. So I, I feel like a lot of people took my advice to heart and I feel like I have a big responsibility on my shoulders with like trying to give the best analyz analyzation, is that a word? Best analysis possible. I do think there's a lot of good things that you can appreciate about this game, but yeah, I guess you really just can't know until you try it for yourself. You gotta dive in head first. There's gonna be a lot of things you're probably gonna have to YouTube and Google and learn from probably like Datto or somebody who's informationable. But there is something special about learning things on your own too, because you wanna feel accomplished. If you are wanting to buy the DLCs, usually they go on sale every so often. So if you're wanting to get like the old stuff, I would wait for a sale if you wanna be most optimal with your money. Just throwing that out there. There is a big sale going on right now on Steam. I'm not sure, like it's gonna vary if you're on console or PC or whatever. I can't keep track of them all, but this is actually a really good sale. One of the, I guess another thing I should mention, a lot of returning slash new players don't know, or they always ask like, okay, well, what DLCs do I need? What do I need to buy? I really wish Bungie would just do uh, like, a, like a subscription. Hey, if you pay, I don't know, five bucks a month, you can get access to all our shit that's like, like older than a year, you know? The more that Destiny 2 goes on, this adds to my reasons why I think there's gonna be a D3 is like the newer slash older players are gonna, they're gonna have a goddamn fucking grocery list of things they're gonna have to buy. I don't even know if I could recommend like, oh, you need this, 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 and this because the meta is always changing. Like certain, certain DLCs will give you certain exotics and access to like certain raids and activities. So it really just depends at the time, like what is needed. But like, if you want to buy everything, yeah, just do it during a sale, you know? Just get all the expansions, like the Forsaken Pack, Shadowkeep, 30th Annie, Beyond Light, Witch Queen, Lightfall. What does the Legacy Collection give you? It gives you Witch Queen, Beyond Light, and Shadowkeep. Why is this not on sale? It's like you get three of these expansions in one, but this isn't on sale, but like those, those things in themselves were on sale. This is what I'm talking about, man. It's like fucking confusing as shit. Yeah, also, $60? for stuff that's like five years old, like three to five years old is criminal. Especially when like some of the stuff that came with those like expansions and seasons is not even in the game. They had a they had a sale for Destiny 2 Lightfall plus annual pass recently. The fact that like this content is almost a year old and is still a hundred dollars is crazy. They need, they really need to fix this mess. That's, that's really all that needs to be said about this at this point. Oh yeah, I guess just a couple of quick things. Like if you're just, so you don't have to look this stuff up later. Like I would recommend checking out Fireteam Finder. It's a good uh, like looking for group thing or LFG thing. And the other thing is Destiny Item Manager. It's a browser extension uh, for Chrome where you can like drag items between your inventory and your vault really fast. It's just, it's super nice. You can use it for builds, all sorts of stuff. There's an app too, yeah. Light.gg is also good, so you can like check roles on weapons that come out and see what like, what kind of roles can possibly drop on a weapon, I guess would be a better way to explain it. Every Friday there will be a vendor that comes along named Zer. He sells exotics, so if you just check that once a week, that's a good way to fill in the exotics that you're missing too. Did you mention Riven's wishes yet? No, I don't even know what those are. Oh, wish tokens give you like raid weapons and exotics. I see. Yeah, these would be good too. Yeah, if I were to choose one from each, I would choose Pyrogale. I don't even know if all the hunter ones are kind of bad, right? Maybe this one. 
And then for Warlock, obvious choice is the, I call it the Dent Head. This one's great because you can make a ton of heavy ammo for your team. It's great. And that's like a much easier way to get it rather than just getting it from more of a random draw. Okay. Well, I think we've covered about everything. I don't think there's really thing, anything else I really need to say about like the new light experience. I think this is going to be the last year that I do the, is it worth it and blah, blah, blah year. Besides the recent changes, a lot of the information that I've made in the past couple of years of videos is pretty much the same. Still a lot of work you have to do, but if it was informative, hope you enjoyed the video. That's about all I got.